Welcome back, my name is Teresa and I'm very much alive. I have a Starbucks cold pumpkin cold foam cold brew cold brew foam. Mmm. I have an awful garbage filthy mouth where sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes, who are we kidding, it's all the time. I use the word fuck as a comma if you're not into that or weird stuff in general. Darling, <laughs> this is not the place for you. Feel free to X out the video here, no harm, no foul. But I'll remember our time fondly. Y'all, I am so excited to do this video because I realized it's actually been like a hot minute since I talked about some favorites and fails and I have been playing around with a lot of new makeup. Some of the products I mentioned today I didn't make a video about and it's because well I had a two experiences where I had really bad eye irritation so I had to do a lot of voiceovers. So yeah and we'll talk about that product later Susan but I am not happy. <laughs> But I do have a lot of favorites and a lot of cool stuff. So unfortunately, while I didn't make maybe proper reviews on some of these products, blame the makeup that hurt my face, okay? All right, moving on. So why don't we talk about, let's, I'm gonna save the fails to the end because I'm gonna make you watch the whole video. <laughs> Evil, I know, right? Let's talk about some of my favorite products, which actually I have quite a few. So this is actually from Rare Beauty. I know, I know. I think the kids say this is a bop. I'm sorry in advance. I need to make sure I have that younger person demographic, you know what I mean? Because I'm gonna be 35, so, uh-huh. <laughs> this is a bop. I fucking hate the foundation, and I'll talk about it in my fails, but I hate that product. That product sucks. This is awesome. I'm actually quite impressed with how much I've been using it lately. My favorite concealer that I have found this year has been the Pat McGrath one. I'm like, bitch, move over. Rare Beauty is coming here to slay. I love this shit. I think out of all the stuff from Rare Beauty that I've tried, this is gonna be the thing that I will always repurchase. It's a great concealer. It provides hydration, coverage. It doesn't settle into my fine lines. It has great longevity. And she's cute as a button. I mean, seriously, like the top of it's adorable. This concealer reminds me of, I would say a slightly better version of the collab concealer that used to be sold at Sally Beauty. And I think now they no longer exist or they stopped selling the concealer. It was one or the other. But in any case, you can no longer find that product anymore. But that's okay because I found this and I feel like it's actually a slightly better version of that product. So I will happily repurchase this and cannot believe that this is one of my favorites from this line, so yay. We're gonna move on to some face products that I have been loving as well. I love Midas Cosmetics and they're one of my favorite indie brands and I just love the owner, she's so sweet. Rocio's adorable, look at her, she's so fucking cute. Anyway, the product I wanna talk about is the Neon MUA collaboration and this is the Dawn Face Palette. Basically Darius, um, also known as Neon MUA, created a line of face palettes that pretty much rules them all. In terms of inclusivity, they fucking beat everybody out because there is literally something for everybody, which is fucking fantastic. I had really high expectations when I first saw this product, and then when I got it in my hands, I was like, holy shit, bitch, I am fucking excited. Uh, full disclosure, this was sent to me in PR, but if it wasn't, I totally would have bought it because I am an uncooked chicken, and a lot of options for uncooked chicken, I feel like, are more on the fucking Cheeto side, and I wanted something that was just beautifully, tastefully neutral, and this is it right here. First of all, the fucking highlighter. It's so silky, it's so smooth. It's actually, like, it took me back how blinding it was. I was like, oh my fucking lord, this is amazing. The blush is so pinky, it's so virginal. And my favorite though is actually the contour shade because I feel like it's actually like a really nice neutral contour shade. It's not orange. It's not too cool tone where it makes you look like you're fucking dead. It's just straight in the middle and it's perfect. The bronzer shade is fabulous as well. I found that each one of these products is very pigmented. They're very smooth. They're very easy to use. And they both work with synthetic or natural hair brushes. Like it's fucking fantastic. And it also has wonderful longevity. I didn't feel like I had any sort of patchiness. There was nothing that was lifted. Everything looks fucking good. This is a fucking solid product. And I love that it has a mirror and it's actually a really decent quality mirror where I don't feel like I look like I'm in a fucking fun house. This is awesome. Plus the artwork is really adorable. Highly recommend checking this out, especially if you're just looking for like an all-in-one face palette. And if you are there, I do have a code. Yes, use the code. Whew. 
garbage for 20% off any purchases. And uh, just know it's an affiliate code, so I do get a small kickback. And if you don't like me, which that's fucking fine, I don't care. There are so many other creators that have codes. Use one of their fucking codes. Bottom line is save yourself some coin, bitch, okay? I'm just trying to help you out. All right, anyway, next product I wanna talk about is actually from another indie company called Likely Makeup. And these are the Fairy Blush and Clown Blush palettes. Look how fucking cute this is. This is definitely not for the fucking faint of heart. That's for damn sure. Like, are you kidding? Like, ugh, fucking green blush. I love it, oh my God. Ugh, bitch, oh my God. So funny story about this, I've seen Oh my God, even, I mean, the green, like I could never fucking pull that off, but for an eyeshadow, yes. Now I'm actually slower to this release because this has been out for a little while now. Like I mentioned, these blush palettes are not for the faint of heart. They are incredibly pigmented. And it's funny because I was watching Betty Jean, Butte Bean, this adorable pixie over here. I was watching her video on her favorite blushes and she mentioned this peach shade over here from the Fairy Blush palette as one of her favorite blushes of all time. And I was like, well, if Butte Bean likes it, then I'll definitely like it. <laughs> so I went ahead and I purchased both of these palettes best decision I've ever made. So these palettes retail for $23 a piece. And honestly, I've been eyeing the clown one for a little bit because there's something about like the yellow and the orange kind of pumpkin blush that I'm like, fuck, I just, I, I wanna be cool enough to fucking wear this shit. You have to be a certain kind of bitch to wear this, but God damn, once you have it on, you feel like you're gonna fucking rule the world. It is so goddamn pretty. And with a light hand, those two products look so nice on my skin. If I go too much, I look like I have jaundice. <laughs> so there's like a fine line with this product, but you know what? Listen, all right? Who the fuck am I impressing? My Uber Eats driver? God damn right I am. But overall, I really love the formula. I found them to be very easy to work with. They're very smooth. They're pigmented, again, light hand, but they are easy to use and easy to blend and easy to buff out. So don't be alarmed if you do use a little bit too much. It is easy to scale it back. The only thing I wish about these products is that I wish they sold them in singles and I don't think they sell them in singles. While I really do appreciate all the blushes, you know, there are, in each palette, I feel like there are two blushes that I, yes, I will gravitate towards the other two I will not use. So these are eye safe. So if you want, you can use them as eyeshadow, which I have used them as eyeshadow and they have been perfect. So that's something that's like, oh, I'm not too upset about. Anyway, these are fucking awesome. Definitely go check them out. The next product I want to talk about are eyeliners. And I know in my Holy Grail eyeliners video, and if you haven't seen that, I'll link it up in the corner there. I mentioned these LA Girl Shockwave eyeliners. Yo, I cannot believe how fucking pigmented these bitches are. Now, don't get me wrong. I love my Fenty eyeliners. I think they're probably some of the best eyeliners that I have in my collection. However, once I try these guys, I'm like, ooh, it's actually really exciting that I don't feel like I have to purchase Fenty ones anymore because the quality on these are so good. I will say that the purple one is my least favorite, but these are fantastic. This one is just a little bit weaker. Meh, I wouldn't recommend getting this one, but if you are looking into getting like the greens, the blues, and the yellows, they are fucking solid. They actually last in the waterline all day. They do not cause any sort of eye irritation. They're just so perfect. And I also like that this formula works well with other formulas, so I have a 10 tendency where I like to kind of combine different eyeliners to give myself a new eyeliner color. Ooh, I know, how fucking revolutionary. I found that these products really work well for that. And I also like using these to kind of create a nice little ombre effect. It's super fucking nice. I honestly cannot get over how well they stay in the waterline. It's fucking fantastic. The only negative I have other than the purple one, and it's only because I feel like the longevity is not as good as the other ones, I wish they had more colors. I need them to create a bunch of colors so I could finally get rid of some of my fucking ColourPop ones that I've been holding on because I'm like, I don't have any other eyeliners that are very similar to these colors because the formula in these are fantastic. Highly recommend checking them out, especially if you have sensitive eyes like myself, you will not be disappointed. Before I jump into eyeshadows, I want to talk about some of the products that I have been obsessed with. Instead of saying the same thing over and over again, like they're hydrating, they're so creamy. Ugh. Essentially, all of these products for me kind of hit all the buckets that I'm looking for in a lip product. They're hydrating. <laughs> They're creamy. They have a really good longevity. They have a great pigmentation. They don't give me that weird fucking gummy mouth shark. You know that like 
where it's like all just gummy and lines and all those pieces at the corner of your mouth where you're just turning into a stone goblin. I do not experience any of those things with these products. These are all unbelievably, these are all unbelievably hydrating. So for someone like myself who has notoriously dry lips, these are a godsend. I don't feel like they're strangling my lips. They are perfect. So with that said, the first one I wanna mention is Prop of Beauty. Yo, okay. I have seen so many people talk about these lipsticks and I was like, I need to go check them out. Believe the hype. Fucking believe the hype. Stop what you're doing. Go check this fucking brand out. They have some of the most beautiful, oh, actually, I should footnote this to say, all the things that I'm going to show you, they're all neutral. When it comes to lip products, I am boring as fuck. The more neutral, the better. What is cool about Proper Beauty is a lot of these colors kind of have more of like a, a brown undertone, which normally I don't really gravitate towards. So I always find that it looks like I've been eating from the toilet, but not these. These are fucking fantastic. Four shades that I have are Victress, Her Magic, Made It, and Finesse. I love all four of them, but the two that are complete standouts are Finesse, which is like this beautiful, just fucking creamy brown shade. It's so good. It is so perfectly neutral that you can pair it with anything and everything. And the other one, if I wanna be a little bit daring, which I fucking love like a good pumpkin lip. And I find that a lot of products that usually have that kind of pumpkin shade, it always looks fucking weird on me. This one is just so beautiful. I don't know what's in it. It doesn't make me look washed out. It doesn't make me look like I have been eating orange fudge all day. This is just so pretty. I I feel like this these shades just complement everybody. These are so good. and. These actually kind of remind me a little bit of the Gucci lipsticks, especially for like that satin kind of a finish. They are fantastic. And I believe there's a bunch of coupon codes kind of like swirling around the internet. So while they are very affordable, if you want to save some coin, go find a coupon code. It's fucking worth it. Either way, either way, it's fucking great. But this brand is super fucking great. Cannot wait for them to come out with more shades because I need more boring ass neutral colors. <laughs> I love it. What can I say? I'm just a slut for Chantecaille, okay? Anyway, they were kind enough to send me their fall lip collection. And while I really do love all three colors, I think they're so beautiful. I think the one that I really gravitate the most towards is the Plumeria shade. This is their Lip Veil collection. I feel like these products are very much like the Lip Sheiks, except they have a little bit more pigmentation and they're very creamy. While the Lip Sheik has definitely more of a gloss feel to them, these are just, they're so wonderful. They're so comfortable. Honestly, I think the whole fall collection is perfect, but again, the shade that I really love is the Plumeria shade because I really do love a good like pinky mauve kind of color. But what I love about this formula in particular is that it has a wonderful wear down. So while the product starts to dissipate, it stains your lips in such a beautifully natural way where you don't feel like you need to rush and put more product on. I don't know, you just look so effortless. If you have been ever interested in trying any sort of Chantecaille lip products, I can definitely speak very highly about the Lip Sheiks and now the Lip Veils. I have never tried their lipsticks, uh, so that's something that I have to try in the future, but these Lip Sheik and Lip Veil products are fucking perfection. The next product I wanna talk about is from Lethal Cosmetics because it's not a favorites video unless I mention my child, Lethal Cosmetics. <laughs> So every release they've had so far this year has been like amazing and like whatever, maybe I'm biased, but I really love everything that they've been putting out. And these are so good. They recently released a lipstick line. And again, I feel like these are just meant for me. They're just beautifully basic and neutral and boring. And they work with a variety of skin tones and it's just, Oh, it's utter perfection. Now, when it comes to Lethal's lip products, they do have liquid lipsticks, which, you know, I think they're okay. They're not my favorite formula. I find them a little bit too drying for myself, but their lipsticks though, holy shit. Okay, so the first lipstick I've ever tried was actually from the Jolina collection. That is perfect. One, it's a perfect color. It's like this beautiful, like, my name is Kathy and I'm the school secretary. Like, it's just a perfect pink color, all right? And then, <laughs> I realized how fucking specific that sounded. Usually it's Barbara and she has real estate, but today we're gonna switch it up. It's Kathy, the school secretary. Letha was kind enough to send me a couple of their shades and I actually picked out five of them, but the two that I really wanna talk about that have been like my absolute favorite. Now I have not received any sort of duds. They've all had the same kind of quality, but the two colors that just speak to me more than anything are Rome and Arrival. Rome is this beautiful fucking weird kind of 
brown, gray, gray kind of pink color or like a grayish color. I think that's what it's called on the website. It's so gorgeous. And then you have Arrival, which is definitely more of like a warmer brown. So you have a cooler brown and you have a warmer brown. Fucking fabulous. Actually, they also have an orange shade <laughs> called Quest that is so pretty as well. I don't know. Like, uh, I feel like between Lethal and Prop of Beauty, like I'm so fucking set when it comes to kind of like these brown neutrally lipsticks. Oh my God, they're so gorgeous. Anyway, these products are just so comfortable to wear. And the last few videos I've actually had this lipstick on, I find that my lipstick always stays in place. I don't need to touch it up. So that's what I love about Lethal Cosmetics. Anyway, and if you're so inclined, I do have a coupon code. No, it's not an affiliate code. You just simply get some money off, so definitely use it. It's the code garbage like all my other codes for the most part use a code garbage to save yourself money and um pick up a fucking eyeliner as well you will not be disappointed and last but certainly not least when it comes to lip products i want to talk about m cosmetics i don't believe i talked about this already in a previous favorites video and if i did i apologize but that's how much i fucking love them and full disclosure some of the m cosmetics products i want to be talking about were sent to me one of them i actually did purchase on my own i have to say there's something about this lip cushion formula fucking it's like a game changer i think out of all the lip products i mentioned these probably have the least amount of opacity but they are so fucking fantastic. They just make your lips look better. So the two colors that I have, the first one is Magic Hour, which is just, it's beautiful. And the second color is the Venetian Rose, which, oh. For anyone who really loves that mauve pink color, you need to go check this out. It's, it's fucking fabulous. Now, these products look amazing on their own. However, when you add their soft blur lip liner, fuck, I don't know. There's something about these lip liners that just are so, one, comfortable to use, and they actually have a really good opacity on the lips that you could actually technically wear them alone. You can. When combining both of these products together, it's a home run. There are quite a few different lip liner shades. And again, if you are someone like me, that's just a neutral Nelly. you're gonna love them all <laughs> essentially I haven't found one that was a bad shade at all they basically kind of range from anywhere of like a kind of like a pinkier kind of again mauve tone to more of a brown tone but these are fabulous though so those products together home run fucking couldn't ask for like a better lip combination all right, let's talk about some eyeshadows. The first one is actually, surprisingly, is from Dose of Colors, and this is the Cutting Edge Palette. <sighs> okay, so I have a weird relationship with this brand. Every eyeshadow palette I've ever purchased, I feel like I've only liked one shade and the rest of them I could care less about. The palettes that are in this type of packaging, I have hated and I have either decluttered or returned and I've never found anything that actually worked for me well until I tried this palette out. This is fucking great. This is the perfect small grunge palette and it's actually everything you need to create the most perfect fall grungy looks. Yes, there's fallout. Yes, there's some glitter bukkake, but it's such an easy to use palette. It's very pigmented. It's very easy to blend, just overall easy to work with. And for a smaller palette, you can actually create a number of different looks with it. Between this palette and the next palette that I'm going to talk about, they have been my go-to palettes because of just how easy and fast they are to work with. The palette I'm referring to is from Kaleidos Makeup and this is the Futurism 7 Sashimi City. This is so fucking good. <laughs> now this palette was gifted to me by Kaleidos and I know I keep saying this, I know this is not even funny anymore, but since I'm approaching 35, I just wanna be my namesake, okay? I wanna be Anne. Boring Anne with an E. Yes, an E. An E means it's regal. That's what my mom always told me. Anyway, I love this palette because it's just so beautifully fucking neutral. Yes, it's on the warmer side. Yes, whatever. And yes, we don't really need another warm palette. But this is just so perfect. <laughs> and especially pairing it with this, it's like so fucking good. I love it. These eyeshadows are very smooth, very easy to work with. They're incredibly pigmented. These shadows, I would say, are consistent with their other six pan palettes. And the thing I love about this palette in particular is that it has the motherfucking multi-chrome in it, okay? And their multi-chrome is beautiful and perfect. I think this palette is perfectly priced, especially for getting a multi-chrome in it. And the whole aesthetic of the palette is, I mean, it's fucking art, basically. 
And what I love about these two palettes in particular is that lately I have been having a lot of impromptu Zoom meetings where they just want to see my fucking face, which is really, really annoying. So instead of looking like the bridge troll that I normally do, these have been my go-to palettes where if I need to create a very simple, clean look that is also sparkly and still capturing the hearts of everybody on that Zoom call. So that's great. Anyway, I'm convinced that I cannot make a bad look with either one of these palettes, in my opinion. They are just weird companion palettes, which I know you would kind of think that they wouldn't go, but they do. But they fucking do. It's just, they're so good. I love them. Anyway, I highly recommend checking out both of these palettes if you are interested. The next product I want to talk about is from Terra Moons. And yo, stop what you're fucking doing. Go check out their website. The only way I can describe the brand is Cosmic Slut. That is the only way I can describe it. It's everything. All right, so look at this side of the palette. Don't look at that. That's Cleona. <laughs> As you can tell, I'm starting my little multi-chrome collection. But this on this side is from Terra Moons. These three, I believe these three are the iridescent and I believe these three are the Cosmic Chameleon shades. I'm just gonna swatch them because I, I don't even, doesn't even matter what the fuck I say, okay? You can't even see that, okay? I don't even think this is actually doing it justice. These are fucking, I don't even understand, okay? These are so intense and so blinding, and it's actually what I currently have on my face today. It's a combination of the Sashimi City palette. I used a little bit of the Phoenix Multichrome, and it kind of meshed well with the other Multichrome that's in the Kaleidos palette to kind of create this beautiful, I don't even know what the fuck this is, like a weird fall candy corn moment. I don't know, but it's fucking everything everything. It's so goddamn good. Oh my god. I can't. I can't even handle it. Ugh. Like, they're fabulous. They're absolutely fabulous. I know I keep saying I'm gonna do a multi-chrome video, and trust me, I am. I really am. <laughs> Fortunately, that's the kind of mess that it leaves in your hand. I have been waiting for other multi-chromes to arrive in my collection because I kind of want to show you a wide variety of multi-chromes that I have been collecting. This, though, I actually, I was like, I need to talk about them in my favorites video because I'm just so blown away with the quality. They're just so beautifully pigmented. They work really, really well with glitter glue. Yes, there is some glitter bukkake, but you know what, though? At the end of the day, it's, I can easily look over it considering how fucking beautiful beautifully pigmented they are. The shifts on them are so insane. I think my favorite thing to do is using both of the palettes that I mentioned before. They're more on like the neutral or the grungy side. I use these shades to just kind of give it that extra bit of kick. Kind of like, I'm not like one of those regular moms. I'm a cool mom. Kind of a vibe. I fucking love it. My only gripe with this is that they are so hard to get. I think right now you can look at their website, but they're not shipping shit out until November. And you know what? I'll shut the fuck up because it is an indie company and indie companies, they are usually a very, 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 very small operation. So I understand that, but I'm also an impatient piece of shit. <laughs> so I'm like, I want it now. And I really, I just fucking want it now. Oh my God, I, come in, really. Even with me literally just wiping this off and looking like I have some weird fucking ball of magic coming out of my hand, it fucking looks fabulous. This is awesome. Anyway, highly recommend checking them out. Believe the hype. They have so many different kind of variants of multi-chromes. You can spend hours just staring into the cosmic slutty abyss. It's fabulous. Go check them out. Anyway, the other multi-chrome I want to talk about, and I know it's going to sound really, really funny, because <laughs> trust me, I feel like I'm the only person that fucking likes this, is the Natasha Denona multi-chrome. I think I am the only person that likes this. But you know what though? I don't give a fuck because while everybody else sucks this brand's dick and they're like, I love everything from Natasha Denona. I don't. A lot of times I usually have some sort of weird fucking eye irritation with this brand and I just like, I just, I want to love them. I want to love them and they don't want to love me back. And it's fine. I mean, look at me. I get it. I get it. All right. Now with this product, I think what I find fascinating about it is, is that with multi-chromes, I usually have to have some sort of glitter glue down. Otherwise it creases and fades throughout the day. And it sucks because while it, yes, it is pigmented initially, if you do not have a kind of like a tacky or sticky base, you lose the magic, you lose the sorcery and that, that sucks. This is probably the first multi-chrome I have found where I don't need that. I don't need to have any sort of base down. I could literally just put this on. It's so easy to use. It it has a really nice opacity. The fucking, the, the shine is so good. I do have a review on it, so I'll leave it up in the corner. My 
only complaint with this is that it's $28 for this little fucking thing and that's expensive. It's expensive for what the product is and I can happily report that while I haven't had any sort of issues with this drying out, I am recognizing that I think I am actually panning it <laughs> because there's only so much fucking product in it. I like the formula so much so that during the Sephora friends and family fucking AT&T sale, I'm definitely going to be picking up the shade Scarab. Like I mentioned, I have the rest of them over here. I have them in my collection and these are fine too, but the standout is the Scarab shade. It's just so fucking, it's so pretty. And I think out of all the liquid multi-chromes I have tried, this has been my favorite, especially for not needing to have it on the base, not having any sort of eye irritation and it lasting for a very long time and it's comfortable on your lid where you feel like you have nothing on. That's awesome. So that's why it's my favorite. And again, I know I'm the only one, but you know what? I'm okay with that because that's how fucking good it is. Let me wash up because this is alarming and <laughs> we'll get to my fucking fails. All right, saddle up, boys. <sighs> Kimchi makeup fucked my face up. Copyright, Hannah Louise Poston. She Marco Poloed me, she said that, and I was like, fuck, that's so good, I need to steal that. And I did, but I'm crediting her. So am I stealing it really? Yeah, I probably am. Anyway, look at her, she's fabulous, go check her out. I wanted to like this so fucking much, you have no idea. I wanna like Kimchi Chic so much, but this is the second product that I have tried from the brand that I just, it's just lackluster for me. The first one was the highlighter palette, and the highlighter palette I had really high hopes for, but I found that it was very, very glittery, and there was no payoff. So I ultimately just decluttered that palette which sucks because it was so fucking cute. And then when these eyeshadow palettes came about, I was like, oh my God, they're adorable, they're affordable, but they're fucking deplorable, okay? Yes, I'm all about rhyming today, bitch. This makes me so sad. Again, this has nothing to do with her as a person because I think she's fucking fabulous. She should have won her fucking season. She has beautiful artistry. And I think because her artistry is so fucking amazing, I just had a different expectation for the makeup. Granted, now this makeup could totally work for somebody else. That's fine because at the end of the day, makeup is subjective, but there's something in these eyeshadow palettes that fuck my face up. They just hurt. It causes really bad eye irritation so much so that I can't even put makeup on for a fucking week. My whole eye is just so red and sore and crusty and the lower lash line, it kind of gets hard and callous and my inner lid gets so raw like roast beef. It's fucking gross, okay? And I know you're probably saying, well, how do you know it's the makeup? I hear you, Laura. I know it was the makeup because the times that I have tried it, this was the new thing that I was introducing to my face. Everything else I have used before and it wasn't fine. This was the new things. And I wanted to make sure the second time that it was this, and that was my own fucking mistake of using it again. Now I know for sure, <laughs> it's definitely this fucking palette. It sucks because these shadows are actually quite pigmented. They're very beautiful. They're very easy to work with. There's something in the formula that does not mesh well with my skin. So when I'm gonna be doing now is looking at the ingredients of these palettes, as well as looking at some of the ingredients of other palettes that I know that I have had an allergic reaction to and kind of try to see what is the common link. But the ultimate goal is to get an actual allergy test because I wanna understand what is causing this awful, awful reaction. Yeah, it just fucking makes me sad. These are $14 and they were actually pretty good, but there's just something in the formula that just does not agree with my face, so. Mm. Sad. The next products I want to talk about are from Dominique Cosmetics. And Dominique Cosmetics came out with liquid eyeshadows, I want to say, like, was it like maybe two months ago or so? I got the two multi chrome shades. These are awful. <laughs> they are fucking terrible. Don't even waste your time. Don't even waste your money, your energy, your effort. These are fucking garbage. Oh my God. First of all, they have the worst fucking opacity. You have to put it on at least 75 fucking times for it to actually show up. It's so funny because it actually looks pretty good on camera, but I can show you in person. It does not look good. Even over a darker base, it still looks very patchy. It actually picks up the eyeshadow, which is really fucking annoying. But I think the worst, 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 worst fucking offender is the fact that it gives you a fucking chemical burn. It is the worst fucking spicy butthole I have ever experienced in my life. More so than that one time I used Menagerie Cosmetics and some setting spray with their shimmer shadows. That burned. This 
This burned for about a good hour after use. So I tried it once and just for good measures, I was like, you know what? Let me make sure to try both colors to see if I have the same effect. Oh yeah, bitch, I did. These are fucking awful. Don't even waste your fucking time. Get the Natasha Denona ones. Do not waste your fucking time. I, uh, uh, even having them in my hand right now, I'm actually kind of nervous. I need to go wash it off, but those suck. They're terrible. And I'm really convinced that the only good thing from this brand so far for me has been the latte palette. But everything else that I've tried since then has been like, okay. So for me, I'm kind of considering them to be like a one hit wonder, which sucks because I want to like the brand more. Has nothing to do with Kristen Dominique. She's cute as a button. It's just the quality of the products. I feel like they started off strong and now it's like, what the fuck is this? What is this? What is this? That's kind of how I feel about the brand. So it's a big old no for me, dog. The next product I want to talk about is from Charlotte Tilbury. Charlotte Tilbury. And this is the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Mmm. This is fucking garbage. I'm mad about this. I generally like Charlotte Tilbury stuff. Like I, I do. I All jokes aside, I really do. I love the pressed setting powder. Her eyeshadows are nice. Anything actually from this airbrush flawless line, I have been obsessed with and love. When this came out, I was like, oh my God, yes. Fuck yes. Yes, bitch. I'm so excited to fucking introduce this to my makeup routine. I was sadly mistaken. <laughs> this is so fucking sticky. This is the stickiest thing I have ever used in my life. Yes, stickier than that stuff. You have a brain, I'm pretty sure you made that connection. Stickier than that, how the fuck is that possible? All right, I could go the gross route, I could. Instead, I'm, I'm gonna scale it back a little. <laughs> I'm gonna go the horror movie route since we are in October. So here's the deal. This is very reminiscent to every scene in a horror movie that you have that one asshole guy that it happens to touch the meteor that landed on his lawn. Now an alien plague has started. Or the girl from Creep Show 2 whose face melts from the black garbage bag monster from the fucking lake. The texture is similar to that. It leaves your face so juicy and sticky. God forbid you touch your face, you feel like you can see like your flesh pulling off your face. That weird like sticky line moment that you're like, oh, oh, that. Like it's exactly the same fucking thing. I don't understand it. I don't know if it's because I got a shit product of it and it's supposed to not be like that. I didn't find the spray to be long lasting at all. It just creates a very sticky layer on your face. That God forbid your hair flies into your face. It just drags the fucking makeup around. It's so gross. I, can't, I fucking, I can't even deal with it. I cannot believe that actually my hair flew into my face one day. That it actually remove the fucking foundation. That's some wild ass shit, all right? And for $35, get the fuck out of here. So no, this is a no for me. Don't even bother or waste your time with it, okay? Get any other fucking setting spray. Shit, fucking spray yourself with water. That will probably be 20 times better than whatever the fuck is in this thing. Don't waste your time. Now the next two products I'm gonna talk about, and I'm gonna combo them because I'm actually gonna refer to my uh, last get ready with me because <laughs> holy shit. All right, I featured the Beauty Bay Nikki Tutorials palette in my get ready with me along with the Rare Beauty foundation. They're both trash in my opinion. In my humble opinion, I think they're both trash. Just watch the fucking video for yourself to see the awfulness that has transpired. <laughs> the foundation I feel like is probably the worst culprit because it actually aged me before your very fucking eyes. It turned me into a goddamn stone goblin, which is crazy because the concealer is perfection, but the foundation just fucked my ass up. <laughs> Anyway, go watch it for that. And then when it comes to this eyeshadow palette, I'm just like bummed out. I'm bummed out because I have used it since then. And it's just, I don't know, like it just doesn't work for me. Other than the metallic shades that are very similar to a ColourPop Super Shock shadow, that's it. Like I want to like this so much fucking more. It's just a dud for me. And that's fine. It's just disappointing because I really like Nikki Tutorials and it has no reflection on her because I still like her as a person, but I wanted to like this more. I I wanted this to be a favorite, not a fucking fail. Anyway, go check out that video. I'm not gonna waste my time just repeating the same shit over and over again. So see the proof for yourself. And last but certainly not least, I wanna talk about the Pat McGrath Dark Star Mascara. I purchased this mascara when it was announced and it's so fucking disappointing. It is, in my opinion, probably the worst Pat McGrath product I have ever tried. This sucks, 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 sucks sucks. I love mascaras and I crave mascaras that create volume. 
and I don't fuck with fake lashes. So I need a product that definitely lifts and separates and makes me look like I have eyelashes. I think this mascara confuses volume with clumpiness. It doesn't separate your eyelashes at all. Instead, it fuses your lashes to look like the hair of a Cynthia doll. It's not a good look for anybody. The mascara is somehow both wet and dry, which I know sounds like a fucking oxymoron, but when you apply it, it's very, very wet and the dry down takes forever. And when you think it's dry, it's not dry because it fucking transfers and it's, ugh, it's aggravating. But when it does dry, it dries to like a stone goblin degree where you blink, your mascara starts to crumble. And when it falls into your eye, oh bitch, it stings. It stings for days, okay? It's terrible. And then you have these little beef crumbles that fall down your face throughout the fucking course of the day. <sighs> Fuck. No. When you use this product on your bottom lashes, it's only a matter of time where it just looks like a fucking ring around your eye where it looks like somebody punched you in the fucking face. And it freaks you out so much so that you're like, wow, maybe someone did punch me in the face. Okay? <laughs> like it's so weirdly natural how well it looks like somebody fucking ate you. It's very weird. For a luxury mascara, I am just, I'm so fucking disappointed with this. The brush head kind of reminds me of kind of like the Too Faced Better Than Sex, where it just kind of has like that, like kind of fat hourglass kind of body where I feel like that's the kind of brush head that's supposed to create volume. This one was just a fucking miss for me. So <sighs> I wouldn't recommend it, but I know a lot of people do like this one. It's just not my cup of tea. I'm never gonna be purchasing this shit again. Bye. Anyway, those are my favorites and fails. Let me know down below if you've tried any of these products, if you like them, if you hate them, if you want to fight me, sure. Just let me know down below. I'd, I'd love to hear from you. And I want to say thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it as always. Feel free to like, comment, hit that subscribe button. It's free. And hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Patreon, to all my beautiful, lovely patron members. Thank you so much for keeping this wonderful, delicious, disgusting, disturbing garbage boat afloat. And I want to say thank you so much for basically making up my mind when it comes to my next few videos. My patrons were the lovely ones who thought I should be doing this one first over the new Pat McGrath palette. So I just want to say thank you because um, I'm a Libra and I can't make decisions for myself. So I appreciate all you babies that can make those decisions for me. If you want to know what is currently on my face, along with all the products I mentioned and where to get my merch, which by the way, this is the Dead and Board Spooky merch. If you want to know everything, everything will be listed in the description box below. And with that said, please continue to stay safe. Please wear a mask wash your hands. Please, 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 please register to vote and just be kind to each other. And I'll see you little pumpkins later. Bye.